Can you guess what this is? Stay tuned to find out. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Let it snow. It's snow week on draw time. Welcome to draw time with Mr. Mayberry. It's snow week on draw time, so we're drawing things that have to do with snow. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a toboggan. So let's get started. It's time to draw. And for this drawing I have my paper turned horizontal and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. And a toboggan is a, a kind of a sled. Now a lot of people also call a hat, a stocking cap, a toboggan because it's something that you might ride as you're, or wear as you're riding this sled. So that would be a toboggan cap. But we're drawing the sled today and I'm going to start off with a line towards the upper left that's going to slant down towards the lower right. And then when it gets to the bottom down here, I'm starting off light. I'm going to make this darker once I get everything where I want it to be. But it's going to curve around like that when it gets down towards the bottom. And the toboggan is made up of several uh, strips of wood that are uh, glued together or fastened together. And it curves down it here at the end and it, the way it's made there's a lot of flexibility so it can ride over the hills. Okay I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line that slants up towards the upper right here, one that's parallel to that here and then I want to make one here in the back going that same direction. So all three of these lines go the same are parallel. They go the same direction up towards the upper right, from lower left to upper right. Okay, I want to make a curve right here that matches this first curve. This is the other side of the sled, other side of the toboggan, just like that. And then I want to make a line that is parallel with this one all the way down just like that. Now you could use rulers for this but I'm just going to freehand today. Draw it freehand. So now I'm going to draw the individual planks that are beside each other. I just draw a line that's parallel to this outside line. The bottom it's going to curve just a, you know, slightly at the end. And I'll draw another one next to that. And I'm trying to make these the same width. I'm not actually measuring them. I'm just kind of looking at them and visually trying to make them about the same width. Okay, that one curves. Now the rest of these you won't see a curve. And actually I think I'm just going to make one more here to kind of even that out. Just like that. Okay, now these planks curve around in the front, so I need to draw curves that are the same width as the boards back here. And they're all going the same curve as this outside line. So I just draw curves across here. And one more. Okay, now this is the simplest form of the sled. You could go with this and that would be plenty because it looks like it. You could put a rope here that is used to pull it, to hold on to as you're riding and then to pull it as you're going back uphill. Um, there's also going to be a rope going straight down here that kind of helps hold this front part down. And before we do that I think I'm going to go ahead and put, there's some cross pieces here, some braces that help hold the sled together. And they kind of provide little seating areas as well. I'm going to go ahead and put two lines that are parallel with these two slants here. Let's try this again. 
something like this. And then I'm going to go back a little ways and do two more. And back again. Two more lines. And then back towards, this will be the last one here in the back. Okay, to make these look more like 3D, because they're actually planks that are sitting on top of the pieces that are running this way, I'm going to put some shading around the edge that make it, make it look like there's thickness to this board. And then I can draw the other edge darker as well. Okay, so thickness on the left here and then across the front. And then just make the line sharper here. Now I do need to erase inside of this because you can't see through this board. You can't see what's below it. Okay, I think on this one, let's see, erase first. Draw this line second. And then shade on the left and across the front. Of course, if you're drawing a toboggan with no one, with somebody sitting in it, you're not going to see all of these boards. This just helps you to understand the structure of the toboggan, and then you can draw these in as you need to. You you would draw what you see around the people. Um, but if you put people in here, you could put two or three people on this toboggan sitting comfortably. Or if they were smaller people, probably you might get four. If there was kids. Okay. Now the last step to this, there is, like I said, there's a rope here that it fastens to the corner and it goes down it provides tension to hold this together and then it goes through a, like an eye bolt here and goes back and through these boards it's also something to grip onto and I think you can use it for steering as well and then there would be one over here that's going down from this you can't see this part but goes down and back through these and to kind of emphasize that rope or highlight it a little bit, I'm going to take a yellow and go over the top of this line. Okay, now go ahead and finish this out, clean it up, add color if you'd like. And this is our drawing for today, a toboggan. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again, and remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Burr. If you're wondering what this is, it's a close-up view of a snowman riding a toboggan. Well, thank you for watching till the end, and I'll see you next time.